All right, y'all. Uh, well, I'll give you two guesses who this is right here. Say a little something or do something. Oh, hit him with a squat. You know who that is. You look good. Please catch a 10 pounder and take a picture with your bag on. Rob's all rigged up, ready to go. This is the dedicated few today going on. Oh, it's a good we came here to catch like big it. fish. I like that title, dedicated few. The dedicated few, baby. Everybody else is still at camp. Let me tell you two other dedicated guys that we're going out with today. Mr. Steve Parks, legendary Steve Parks, and Mr. Legendary Terry Odom. He's over here. See all these better baits hot on right here. This has been kind of the key deal so far. Look at all, everybody's got spinner baits on. Guess who likes fishing? Big jigs and spinner baits. Oh yeah, the guy I'm going with, Mr. Terry Odom. Let's get out on the water, y'all. Let's catch a pig. Have a good day, Hefty. <laughs> oh yeah. Caught so many fish out of it, it's ingrained in your head. This is some of the best feeling stuff away from the bank that I've seen this whole time. Oh, he thumped it good, but he's just a little juvenile. Another one. <laughs> that one right there was in about. 16. He was bare, he was on the bank. Another fish, second fish here. I saw a tilapia on the bank. Splash. Well, they're a little strong. Come here, sweetie. I got a little, well, that's kind of skinny. Get that jig down there in that mouth. Oh, yeah. Terry was just telling me about the magic tree over here. What's your biggest bass out of that tree? Probably 10 pounds. 10 pounds. A yeah. one ounce jig. A little rage crawl on there that time. Chartreuse pepper. I saw a tilapia hit on the bank and threw up there and felt a thump. Thought it was a small fish. Terry said, yeah, just a small five pounder. He knew what was going on. Good way. Good way to start the morning. He's working back in the North River. These islands, I've never caught like big schools on them. But a lot of times early in the morning, you'll get one or two big ones off each one of them. This one's got a saddle. You can see it coming off. Oh, it I runs see. over to the shoreline. To the left. That's always good spinnerbait country. Back behind that island, back in there on some of those ridges. Oh, he hit it good. Oh, uh, well, it's not a big one, but God, that fish whacked it. Good enough. Yeah. I mean, when he first hit it, I thought it was. Wouldn't make me mad. The dandy. Good spinner bait fish of the day here. God, I mean, when that fish whacked it, I thought it was. Healthy ones that make you. Oh. oh, yeah. Well, ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. I just got a little scared there at first. I loaded up like, oh goodness, this might be, this might be a 10 or something. Getting up there around eight probably. Seven and a half for sure. Oh yeah. 8.30. Yeah. 8.30. Nice. Nice fish. Good one there. See, I would have told you that was like a seven, but they're just so dense out here. It was almost just like sitting in a treetop and then it pulled back. <laughs> Super slow. The tree started driving but, off. Yeah, I was like, I, th I think I'm hung. And then it yeah, pulled the back. Oh, I'm soaked up. Oh. Is there one with him? Spinnerbait. That one was in the swag. Yeah, mucho pescado! <laughs> mucho pescado grande! <laughs> so 
little one, he's in pretty bad shape. <laughs> For those of y'all that have never been down and fished in Mexico, something that you will see, and I, really a lot of the southern border Texas lakes, what you'll see is gill netters. They, they usually net tilapia. Don't they keep bass too? They get bass in the nets or? Hey, very few. Very few. That guy right there, about to get his gill net and we were in his hole. He, he seemed a little perturbed. And you do not want to get a trolling motor in that. So if you ever come down here, watch out for those. They hit it really hard. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I got my chest cam rolling. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I think I get it. It's just a matter of playing it out. This is a fat one. We got her out in the open water now. This is right where Terry had his other one. Right here in this little saddle. After we got done talking about why you fish the spinnerbait, I came up over, that thing was falling down, just like you said, and he just <laughs> hit it on the fall. God, that's a fat one. You know it? Look how fat that fish is, man. That's a beautiful fish, man. Got him right at the top. I can't believe there's not, not oh. some followers, you know? Shoot, man. <laughs> That's a toad, baby. Look at that spinnerbait. Just hanging out with some mouse, guys. Let's put them on the scale and just see. It's a little bit heavier than that last one. 862. <sighs> My goodness. I know, that's a female ready to get it on, baby. Bye, sweetie. You were fun. You slammed it. Go make some babies for the Comandero. All right, you got this big old spinner bait. A lot of people watching this probably think that that is just the biggest spinner bait that ever they'd ever seen. Why <laughs> did you start to design that? And tell us a little bit about that. We were down fishing. A actually had a tournament on Sugar Lake down in Mexico and depth had changed a little bit. We'd been catching them on crankbaits out there and it's just almost impossible to get a crankbait through there. So I busted it out and just kind of started snaking it through those treetops, which is pretty much what we do here. Man, I mean, it paid off. We caught, I don't know how many big fish. A few years after that, Ron called me when, like before Picacho was open. He'd been using my three quarter ounce. Oh, goodness. Oh yeah, baby. Time out. <laughs> That's why we're throwing it. There's why we're throwing it. Oh my gosh! That's a big one right there. There we go. Oh, you want me to grab him? It's almost like we're in the Oh my gosh. Come on. Get in that mouth, baby. Oh! There you go. That's why you throw that spinner bait. There's what there's what attacks it down here. <laughs> of course we've got an absolute perfect day to do it. I mean, down here normally it's high bluebird skies, it's you know not not hardly ever any wind, dead calm, sun straight up, hundred degrees. Normally we don't get a day like this to throw a spinner bait. I mean, we like to fainted this morning when we got up and it was raining, actually raining this time of year. It just doesn't happen. I'm gonna go ahead and put her back right yeah, quick. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Let's check that spinner bait out. Just get a closer look well, it's at part, it. It's kind of wrecked right now. <laughs> so that's a one ounce. It's you got number seven and a, and a five a on four there? Four and a half and a seven. Four and a half and a seven. Gold go. blade seem to be better, but the water down here is not you hardly ever get, you know, the gin clear type conditions. This is a 45 thousandths wire that's in here. I put that bigger wire in there because you can see just what that, that fish did to the bait. Oh yeah. And multiply that times 20 or 30 a day. The, you get so much, you know, wallow or vibration or whatever you want to call it with those big blades that it will literally shake that little wire apart. That head design. It came right out of my, Jig mo, same as I just put a spinner bait wire in there instead of a fish hook. Is that better for for cover coming through cover? Well, I like the way it, it falls because th this this is my jig head design, and believe me, I went through a ton of molds to finally get a design that I liked the way it fell, 
without spinning and all this right. stuff, twisting your line and all that craziness. So when we bring it over these brush tops out here, it falls just like a jig. I invented years and years ago the screw lock. Most people are familiar with it now, but mm -hmm. so that when you put your, your trailer on there, you actually screw it on there. There's a, there's a corkscrew around that shank of that hook. Terry, he knows how to catch big fish. And sometimes you have to have, you just have to beef up your gear to catch fish. And you've, you've probably seen the evolution of lures come around, but you were one of the guys that said, we can't be jacking around with this little tackle with these big fish. We got to step up our game. Yeah. You made the screw lock, you beefed up the spinner baits, the jigs. I mean, the first time I ever went to Falcon Lake where you guys know there's giant fish, I started looking around for information. People said, you got to get Odom's jigs. You got to get Odom's jigs. Cause when you start using 60, 80 pound braid, heavy rods, that stuff's got to hold up. You That's don't it. go bear hunting with a 22. <laughs> That's the perfect way to put it. <laughs> uh oh, another good one. Uh oh, you got it. You feeling Come some head shakes? Oh. oh yeah, baby. Come to daddy. Nice fish. Not too little. But... Oh, look at that. Get that face. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a good fish. Another old spinner bait fish. On this this little saddle, on this ridge, are all, they're all in good shape. Shucks. They're probably getting ready to have some babies. <sighs> I always like to flash the camera. <laughs> oh, another nice one. He was in a tree at first. Where no? Yeah. <laughs> another fat and healthy fish. Another oh, little sweetheart. Day. I don't know. Seven, eight. Something like that. It's fun right here. <laughs> this is fun. Yep. Telling stories, catching monster fish. We, can't, we still ain't got the story told. <laughs> I'm literally hearing the story about how braided line was introduced to the fishing market. And guess who? Guess who did that? That's right. Y'all don't even know. There's some amazing stories going on in this boat right now and some big fish. Incredible times. For the June edition of Bassmaster Magazine, and read the story. They'll they'll see who was the first one that had it. June edition of Bassmaster magazine. What year? 1993. Do you think that was? 1993. And you can see that man right there revolutionizing fishing in a whole new way. What do we got? There's a decent boil right there. Come here, sweetie. Oh yeah. That's the old hog. Come here and give me your mouth there, sweetie. Let's not bend that spinner bait too much. Oh, yes. It's just right. Look behind you. There's a nice fish, huh? Mm -hmm. We still can't get our, all our lies told. Every time we start lying, we get a bite. Hey, guys. How's it going? Pretty oh, good. No. All, I'm going to say average is seven pounds. Of course, old Terry's clean, just cleaning house up here. Another fish on. Hit it on the fall. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Had a little branch on his face. He shook it off. Look at that. Just big old pigs out here roaming on this little little saddle. Or swag as Terry calls them. Come here, don't you tear my spinnerbait up too much now. Oh, yeah. Oh, does he got followers? <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, look at this. Mm -hmm. This is a big, those are his brothers and sisters right there on the graph. <laughs> Dang. You drug them up. Holy cow. Doesn't get old catching these big ones. See you, sweetie. Damn. Spinnerbait strikes again, y'all. We'll just be slow rolling it. Oh, Terry just got oh, reeling in. Dang, he was reeling at a jig. That last fish I just caught brought up some other fish, so it could be getting good. It could be getting real good. Mon nose south of the border, baby. And it smells good. This one here might go across. Oh, yeah. Another one just like that last one. I hate it. Oh, oh yeah, it's got a what is going on there? Somebody hit her with a hammer. Oh man. What are you 
What is that? Crazy. I don't know. Looks like it's got brain issues like me. <laughs> <laughs> Melanoma. <laughs> oh, look at those giants right there. Two big old bananas. We need to get them. That's what we got right here. We got these tall bushes that I'm getting hung in and what Terry's catching them out of. <laughs> oh, first bass hookup of the afternoon. I think it's a good one. Oh yeah, baby. On the Odom one ounce spinner bait. Boy, it helps having that 25 pound test and that nasty stuff. Golly, these fish are strong and big. Look at them. They're all big and nasty. I think, I think you've had enough fight. Come here. Oh, yeah. Not a bad one there. They eat largemouth out here? I guess so. Gosh. Oh, man. God, just feels good. There's another one. Oh, that's a big one. That is a big one, Odom. Odom, we do have a big one here. Oh, yeah, that'll get up there and wait now. Come on, baby. Woo -wee. Yes, I have. Y'all, I have, I have gotten it down now. You can't fish it wrong if you're fishing it slow. Look at this toad right here. That baby's got it right in the roof of the mouth. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, goodness gracious. Come here now. I got to grab you a little with my left hand because my other hand is sore. Knife hook holder. <laughs> Look at that, baby. One ounce. Put them blades out a little bit. Need to put that back. But my gosh, y'all. We are doing it today. Uh, 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 uh. That bass could literally eat this GoPro entirely. A little bit of... About 7.30. 7.30? What it's saying. God, she looks bigger than that. She had a huge head. Yeah. Okay, darn it. See your sugar plum. Oh, she's going to... She might do one more. Her butt. Let me tickle. I like to tickle them away. See ya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hooked up on a good one right off the end of that point right there. Oh, baby! <laughs> not, all, not all that big, but a good one. The reason why we want to lip a lot of these fish is we don't want to tear that spinner bait up. <laughs> yeah, they do that pretty good anyway. It's pretty important to hold this fish up to the drone right here. <laughs> I told you there was a drone flying around. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's been one heck of a day out here with Mr. Odom. This is this is quite honestly one of my best days on the water. I think my previous this might break my previous weight all-time five fish of like 37 pounds or so we were, we were creeping up on that today probably hit it actually uh three eight pounders i don't know how many we had over seven you know just fives sixes it was incredible i learned a lot about spinnerbait fishing i hope you all learned a lot about spinnerbait fishing and by the way if you all want to check out those spinnerbaits i'll put a link down in the description where you can check out his baits that was one of the best days i've ever had on the water Yep, it was fun. I learned a lot from you. Of all the days of my life, it was certainly one of them. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed watching today's video. And if you want to go on one of these trips down here, I'll put a link in the description for Ron Speed's adventures. They got some pretty incredible lakes. You got to get in early to get down here to some of these spots, but it's pretty amazing. So more action to come. Y'all stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel right here. We'll see you on the next video.